be done. Uh, Smith into Mark Condes. And Bournemouth start the build again. Stacey keeps it moving. It's a lovely ball from Brooks to Dom Solanke. Really well tracked all the way by Lewis Baker. Drink water. Well, he's trying the monster switch and he's succeeded. Hudson Adoy taking on Adam Smith. That's what you want to see, and Travers has had something to do now. He's pulled off a fabulous save to deny Tammy Abraham the opening goal. Ziyech starting to see more of the ball. Nice weight there. Abraham again on target. Didn't quite get the wallop behind it that he wanted. Helped back in by Loftus-Cheek, back out again by Rossi. There's such a lot of goodwill for Ruben Loftus-Cheek. You can sense it amongst the supporters beneath us. Gallagher's got dispossessed and Brooks is in one-on-one. -on -one. Best chance of the game. And he's put it wide. What an opportunity blown by David Brooks, one of the classiest players on show for either side here. Having come through at Chelsea, I think his desire will be even greater than that of Barkley, who's just uh, been mixed by Philip Billing. Home fans enjoyed that. Here's Brooks. Sit a missed. Billing mopping up. Neatly done as well to Stacey. And that was even more neatly done by Brooks. Still, Stacey cutting it back. Great chance. Mindy in the way. And that's twice Bournemouth have gone close, but now Chelsea might. The break is on. It's three on two if Barkley gets the ball right. Armando Broja has Tammy Abraham in the middle. And he has somehow just found him, but it wasn't a great pass. Not enough on it. Solanke on the chase, beaten to it by Zappa Costa. A few oohs and ahs. That wasn't the easiest bit of control, that, for Mendy. Nor was it the, the best bit of distribution. That might be one of the minor question marks, and I'm really nitpicking here with what was otherwise an excellent season. Brooks finding Stacey here. Stacey bangs it across the team. Could have gone anywhere. Pinball in the Chelsea box. Bournemouth should have taken the lead early in this game. They have taken the lead now. It did stem from a less than ideal clearance from Chelsea's goalkeeper, Pat. Yeah, and it wasn't a good ball to him, to be fair. You know, it's really hard to take that ball there. He's bouncing, he's, he's had to go round. You know, he should have maybe had it with his left foot and just cleared his lines. Being used again now, that's a heavy touch. The sort of heavy touch that usually precedes a challenge that gets you cautioned, yes. but uh, Baba Rahman managed to get something on it. Well, he was a fabulous deliverer of the ball when at Augsburg, and he's done it brilliantly there for Broja, who's equalised. Baba Rahman, Armando Broja, 1-1. So I'm watching the assistant referee there, and everyone else is turning around <laughs> watching the assistant referee. It's OK, there's no VAR. Yep, yeah, the goal will stand, we're not really worried about that, but, I mean, good commentary, mate. You just said, <laughs> superb delivery. You didn't get the words fully out of your mouth. And I mean, good willingness as well. I mean, it was a bad touch there, but, you know, go and win it back, do the right thing, win the ball back again then, and go and attack it, put it into the danger area. We shall see it here. No, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a good ball, and he's absolutely on side. Many strikers on Chelsea's books at the moment. That's in for 2-1. Ross Barkley curls in a beauty and it's nodded in by E.K. Ugbo from what a foot out yeah just as you say there um, not that many strikers around fine enough <laughs> there's another one <laughs> yeah I mean it's a nice little ball in there you know, near post but I mean defenders have got to be that really you've got to defend that a lot bit better if you're a defender but if you're a striker you've got to look where the weaknesses are you know, lost a goal there, but the reaction has been, let's see, a bit magnificent. And, uh, lone spells and a huge amount of time out injured Baba Rahman. He came from Augsburg, though. It was... Just watch this header looping over the top, thankfully, from uh, Sam Surridge, the forward who's come on, former Southampton kid, who's got the armband on now. But um, 